faith comment by hearing and it's released by speaking for the word of god is quick powerful creative constructive and life-changing the word of god you're about to hear is from the staple of god's will media network get ready for a life-changing encounter with god's word Anybody that does not that you respect, that does not respect you in return, withdraw your respect from that person. Did you hear what I said? Anybody that you respect, whether an elderly person, a younger person, your colleague, anywhere that you give respect and does not respect you back, withdraw your respect. Say, are you standing us to disrespect our boss? No. You do your job with your boss. There is what we call the boss and the subject relationship. You maintain that one. You don't go beyond that one. If it is the protocol for you to greet him, welcome, sir, to the office every morning. Let it not go beyond that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All you owe him is welcome, sir. Don't kneel down and stay there. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, sir, sir. Then you know some people are wicked. We won't forget you there while you are kneeling and be reading. No, he doesn't value you. So there. Are you still there? Oh, sorry, you can't go. Then next time, eh? Good morning, sir. You are welcome, sir. Go your way. But if it's another person, e, you are there, he gets up and come and tell, eh, hey, did you notice something there? He values that respect you are giving to him. Then you can give it to him the other time. And somebody who tells you that. How is it in there? What's wrong with you? You should be in your office by now. I say, good. You've set the standard. Every time I'm in my office. When he asks you questions, he say, you said it yesterday that I should be in my office. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? So, but many of you, you try, say, hey, I'm respecting this person. He's not respecting me back. And you have broken down. You are feeling bad. You shouldn't feel bad. Though. Don't feel bad. Withdraw the respect. Some people are looking for it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Nobody is worthless. Everybody has value. The only challenge we have is that when you don't place value on yourself, nobody will place value on you. Did you hear me? So, don't go for people who does not see anything good in you. You are trying to convince somebody that you are okay. He says you are not okay. Then, he is not okay. Since you are not okay for him, he or she is not okay for you. Then look for somebody that is okay. How can somebody tell you that? I just want to manage and marry you. And you are still following him. Delete his number. Is not a king. If he's claiming kingship, you are also a queen. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Because most of our guests like <laughs> a tafik does not <laughs> I help me to pray to God to touch his touch where I've told young ladies if a man wants to marry you and he can't call you minimum of three times in a day, don't marry him. Don't marry him. He must call you in the morning. In the afternoon, call you. In the night, call you before you sleep. Uh -huh. But he's telling you that uh, if I don't call you, why can't you call me? Are you, are you asking, am I the one looking for you or you are the one looking for me? Are you hearing me? The one you say, okay, sorry, sorry. I will be calling you. That's your marital disaster just began. You know why? Because when you now get married to him, you will be in the house and you will tell him that don't you know that I'm around? He say, ah, I didn't know. Are you in the house? That's husband and wife. He didn't start that day. He started a long time ago. Say, hey, what of if you are to show? No, you must play the thing by role. He say, wife, love who? The husband. Love your wife. That's what he said the husband should do. God has cleared it. Then he said, the wife should respect the husband. So, in like manner, boys, are you hearing me? Eh? 
once a girl does not respect you, eh, she's not the only sugar in your tea. It is when she's your wife that she becomes the only sugar in your tea. The time that you are dating her, there are several sugar. Cube sugar. Ice sugar. All manner of sugar waiting. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If our own sugar will not deliver, delete the sugar, carry another sugar. The message you just listened to is from the staples of God's Will Pentecostal Interdenominational Ministries. We hope you've been blessed richly. To get more messages such as this, connect with us on social media. God's Will Pentecostal Interdenominational Ministries on Facebook. God's Will Pentecostal Interdenominational on YouTube. We are located at number one Total Deliverance Cathedral, Aule Bus Stop, off Elisha Garage, Akure Odo State. Thank you for listening. God bless you.